Um, you know, I thought the real keys to the game was uh, our ability to, to maintain and control the line of scrimmage. Uh, we were able to get our running game going, and I don't know what the rushing yardage was, but, uh, you know, we had them second down and long and off a lot. Their quarterback, you know, we knew coming into the game was a good player, but we felt like if we could be disruptive enough on first down that that would certainly help. Um, I know Cal Davis has got some good athletes, so it's a, it's a really good win for us. Somebody's excited. <laughs> Questions? Craig, you know, I know the run game was, was huge, but after Josh lost that fumble and they scored off it, mm -hmm. you know, you got to wonder after last week and his confidence, how they responded. You, you, you scored with all runs, big run by Brian, and then I think Josh finished the half five for five with a couple touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Just how big was that for him to bounce back from that? Well, I think it is big, and, and uh, you know, there's a transition for Josh. Uh, the number of quarters he's played as far as taking care of the football, and he was flagging as he was moving around. And, uh, you know, we've got to correct that. And I was, I was pretty pointed uh, with him. But what was encouraging was, uh, you know, there wasn't a panic with the group. Uh, there was a resolve and a focus to, to get some more points on the game. Gord, <laughs> excuse me, the board. Uh, and, I, and I felt like, uh, you know, we're going to need to score a lot of points because they have a you know a pretty effective offense, and so we kept talking to the offense that so we got to keep going out there and keep on pushing uh, pushing the envelope as far as scoring. And certainly, the the touchdown right at the end of the half when we were in a two minute had a huge impact in the ball game. Craig, you wanted to run the ball. You mentioned that. What about the the lanes that your line opened up, and and also getting to the perimeter a little bit as well. Well, Brian is particularly effective when he gets into the perimeter on the perimeter. And I thought our offensive line did a great job. You know, we've had problems in the past with the three down front, and I thought we got matched up much better today. Got good movement at the point of attack, and there were certainly some lanes in there to run. Craig, how did you like your defense? I know giving up big plays was an issue the first two, and they had some not real big ones, but a few decent plays. Were, were you pleased yeah. with the overall? Uh, yeah, I was. Play? You know, we'll look at the tape. You know, I know Coach Standard doesn't want to give up anyone. We gave up a touchdown late there, uh, but. You know, the way we answered, and as I said, that quarterback, and I, I don't I talked to the coach, I don't know what all happened with him, but he was in a group. I mean, I think he was going seven for seven on third downs there for a while. And, uh, so it was a, I thought it was a good performance by our defense. Coach, you guys have really done a good job uh, shutting down the opponent bringing in, especially the interior. What do you attribute that to, especially in the game? Um, you know what, I think uh, we got more maturity up front, uh, even though they're younger. When I say maturity, just playing with good pad level and good technique. Uh, linebackers are more disciplined. It's another year in the system uh, between Coach Caligas and Coach Cooper. I think they've done a really nice job mixing up some, some run stunts, and that's really been helpful. You know, um, last year it seemed like consistently we were always, you know, second down and two and things of that nature, so it's changed significantly. Coach C.J. Johnson with, I think, three catches that long touchdown pass. How nice was it to see him have kind of a breakout game? Well, you know, if you ask him, he's going to kind of be monotone like that. Yeah, it was a pretty good game. and He'll go home and play Scrabble or something like that. <laughs> um, you know, it was great to see him come up. We knew uh, C.J. has good ability. And like I said, the touchdown right before half was a huge play as well. Craig, you go on now on a short week. Does everything get... Pushed up. Is tomorrow your off day, or does it no, work no, day? There are no off days. Uh, <laughs> the, the off day. I, we usually have a 24-hour rule. I said that's. That we're not on a 24-hour rule. They're they're back on the clock tomorrow. Uh, their day off will be the day after it. So we'll come in and and uh, get some film work done and get ready for Eastern Michigan. Coach, you won the toss. Decided to take the ball first. How important coming in was it just to get that good start? And was that? Um, you know, a lot of it's. I thought. Uh, the wind was going to significantly change in the second half. That's what the forecast said. And so, you know, I walked around the first inning. So a lot of times it has a big impact on the kicking game. So we, we decided to go ahead and, and uh, take the ball uh, for two reasons. One, get off to a great start offensively. And then we thought we'd be able to leverage the wind. The wind never really changed much, but uh, our offense certainly came out of the shoot hot. Okay, how did you make it out injury-wise, at least as far as you know right now? Or do you know anything? Uh, Sean Wick, I think, has got uh, somewhat of a jammed neck. Um, and he was the only guy that did not come back to play. And so I think we made it out OK. But sometimes we'll find out you know, tomorrow. Coach, on special teams, you look like three punts in 20 out of four punts you got. How, how nice is that to have a punter who kind of allows you guys to end moments like that? Well, he, he's really worked hard. That's a, a flop kick, an Australian flop kick. and. 
Uh, a lot of the guys can't do it, and the one time he, he did a great job on that. And when you make them go the long, hard way, it certainly helps. Coach Carl's got, I think, three sacks through, through three games now. I know you guys thought he'd be a little stronger this year, but that muscle is this living up to what you guys expected. Yeah, it certainly is. You know, he's up to 240, and he's still been able to maintain his speed and quickness. And I don't know if, if he caused a fumble or, or, or it was a, did he cause a strip? Yeah. And we practiced that, so that certainly was a big play as well.